So what is it? We aren't about to fight a whole new alien race, are we? We're still researching everything the Outsiders knew about it, but I gather it's unique, so... I think we're safe from another war. And it was powering Mosaic? Yes. Now that you've removed it, and blown Origin to pieces, their Mosaic communications appear to be little more than echoes. So what are we gonna use this thing for? I'm working on that part. Still, amazing creature, isn't it, Carter? Just look at it. I'm more concerned with how we can use it than how it looks. Yes, yes, of course. Clearly this entity played a vital role in the enemy's power structure. Right. So what do you know about it so far? Near as I can tell, it's a being composed of energy, entirely lacking a solid physical form. How is that even possible? I've no idea. It's nothing like any Earth creature, or like any outsider we've encountered so far. The outsiders were calling it an ethereal. It hasn't yet told me what it calls itself. You're able to communicate with it? No, nothing yet. But all creatures communicate. I just have to figure out this one's methods. Now that we've got the Outsiders on the ropes, what do you think we should do with them, after they've surrendered? That's an unexpectedly hopeful attitude, William. Since we can't be sure they will surrender, we may simply end up with tens of thousands of corpses. But if we don't... Well, who can say, really? If they're all truly free from Mosaic's influence, perhaps some can be integrated into society. I do look forward to finding out. Got any theories on why I blacked out? this creature to blame for it? Theories? Oh, I'm bursting with theories, Agent Carter. Let me share the one foremost in my mind. Just give me the short version, if you don't mind. It's possible this creature, the Ethereal, is the first thing that's ever pushed the Venbrace to its limits. So whatever it is, it's much more complex than anything we've faced before. The entire core of Mosaic was dedicated simply to containing and harnessing this creature's power. I haven't seen anything else in the outside of technology that rivals it. Huh. Wonder where they came up with that then. Indeed. It raises new questions about their mosaic network. All right, Doc. I gotta go. I'm not done fighting this war. Certainly. And we've got no shortage of new questions to contemplate. Well, you let me know when you got some answers. Origin is dead. Then my kind are free, and yet still doomed. Now that they aren't being controlled by Origin, maybe you can get them to surrender. If that happens, we can help them. You would allow us to coexist on your world? I can't promise anything. People won't forgive or forget anytime soon, but surrendering would be a good first step. Without a promise of a new home, we cannot risk surrender. We are at an impasse. That's a damn shame. But if there is anything I can do to reach an agreement, I will try. Origin is dead. Mosaic is shut down and the gates to your world are closed. Why haven't your people surrendered yet? No. Mosaic is not destroyed. You may have destroyed its source, crippled it. But the echoes remain. Even disconnected, I can feel them. Crippled or not, your people have no leadership or reinforcements. What can we do to get them to surrender? Hundreds of your years spent chasing a single desperate goal cannot be erased instantly. Mosaic leaves its scars on the mind. And we will not stop fighting until we have a new world to call home. If they won't stop fighting, neither will we. Then there is no solution. How will destroying the Mosaic Network affect our people who have been infected? The Sleepwalkers? Mosaic will no longer command them. You can take comfort in that. But I cannot offer you a cure. Well, that's unfortunate. 
If you had a cure, it might be easier for my people to accept a surrender. And I would make such an offer. But we never concerned ourselves with creating a cure. Why would we? You've been cooperative, for the most part. So what do we do with you? I have never decided my own fate. It was always determined by others. Origin, Axis, a legion of commanders. Would you be willing to help us see a peaceful end to the war? If a home can be found for my people, then I will do what I can. You're a good man. Uh, wait, what's your actual name? My kind do not have names. We are referred to merely by position. I am a Thrasofer, or Hidden Watcher in your language. Help us end the war peacefully, and you'll all be free to choose your own names. You sit tight. We might need your help if the war doesn't end soon. I fear it will not. Stuck down here for much longer, huh? Stuck? Ever since Falk lifted the lockdown, we could go topside when we needed to. Yeah, but that's not the same as actually going home, you know? Dutiful as always, Chelsky. You heard the director. There'll be time to relax when the war is over. For once, I agree with the old man. I'm sure that's a sign of the end of the world, Agent Carter. How's the campaign of misinformation going these days? Sufficiently well. What's that mean? Well, so far I've had to cover up the destruction of a university, a town, and the biggest tourist trap in Colorado, to say nothing of all the captured sleepwalkers I've had to falsify records for. So the fact that you haven't yet seen any of that on national TV is good enough for me. Don't be so hard on yourself. You wouldn't be here if you weren't the best of the best. Thank you, sir. Now that they've lost Mosaic, how are the outsiders responding? Mixed results, as you'd expect. Some have gone berserk, some have gone catatonic. Have any surrendered? There have been a few across the country. To be on the safe side, we're shipping them all off to Alcatraz. Everyone else thinks the war's all but over. What do you think? I think I'll stay until we're certain of it. I'll let you get back to your duties, then. Until the director says it's all over, I'll be here. Well, glad to see you back on your feet. Yeah, well, I feel like I stuck my finger in a wall socket. Just be glad you survived. It's more than we can say for some. Like De Silva, and Nils, and... And my brother, and so many others. But it's over. We can make it. And that's only because of the sacrifices of everyone we've lost. I know. But that won't bring them back. I'm still trying to figure out what happened at the end. The whole complex was centered on that thing. Weir says they called it an ethereal. When you captured it, their system started losing power. And yeah, now it's in the lab, where the eggheads can poke at it all day. Whatever it is, it was connected to their mosaic network, just like Origin was. When we were there, Origin said I was carrying a demon. When you first came here, Falk said you were the best agent he'd ever seen. But you had your demons. Maybe Origin knew you better than you thought. Can't exactly go back and ask for clarification, can we? Not after setting off that bomb. Well worth the price, if you ask me. How long was I out? 
Are we seeing any results from the field yet? It's only been a day and a half, but the early results look good. I should damn well hope so. Troops are in disarray and retreating from some engagements. We haven't even seen a UFO report in a few hours. That's a good start. Most importantly, the gates are all closed. The enemies cut off in our world and we outnumber them. Oh, what do you know? We might just pull through after all. Assuming we can finish off the stragglers, what do you see happening afterwards? For us? Paperwork. Do you have any idea how many sleepwalkers we're going to have to account for? Hundreds. Thousands, possibly. Disappearances and false obituaries are simple. We did them all the time at the CIA. The hard part will be figuring out what to do with the outsiders who surrender. Do you think they'll want anything to do with us, after we've practically made them extinct? We can expect some of them to defect. They were invading because their homeworld was dying. They won't want to go back. We couldn't send them back anyway. The gates are all closed. And Dr. Dresner might have some interesting ideas. I get the feeling that the war may have been the easy part. We're in the home stretch, Angie. Won't be long now. Sure hope so. But even after that, nothing's going to be the same. But a full check in two. Good to see you feeling better, Carter. You were looking pretty bad on the trip back. I'm just glad to be back home. And here I thought it was just my flying. We couldn't have done it without you, Barnes. Good work. Just proud to be part of the team. And it's a big team. When life gets back to normal, they're gonna give out a truckload of medals. How long since they went into the gate? At least 45. Wait, I'm getting a transmission. They're alive? What are they saying? It's... Yes! Mission successful. All accounted for and returning. They did it! They really did it! Hangar crew, prepare for returning Avenger. Medical staff, too. They have non-critical wounded. And... Some sort of captive, it sounds like. Well, to your stations, everyone. Yeah! I can't believe they did it. Never doubted them. But if you ever tell Carter, I'll deny it to the death. Uh, secret saved with me. So, got any plans for after the war? Still too soon to plan anything like that. Maybe, but I know you, Cholsky. You're the one who always has a plan. Well, I... Nah, it's too crazy. Hey, we just survived an alien attack. Crazy time. It's just... I heard my old town is rebuilding, and they're gonna need a new mayor to coordinate things. You're gonna run for mayor. You don't have to laugh. No, I think you'd be great at it, Chelsky. You, uh, want any help? Maybe. Let's end this war first. What's your status, Carter? You fit for duty? A little groggy, but I feel fine. Get me back out there and let's finish this. Good. Bring up the map. There's plenty to be done. You had us worried back there, Carter. What happened to you? The physical pain was intense, but the worst part was I couldn't think straight. Couldn't remember my own name or what the hell I was doing. I still only remember pieces of what happened. Well, it's good to see you on your feet again. I assume you're fit for duty? Yes, sir. And eager to get back out there. Especially now that we've got a real fighting chance. So we killed their leader, shut down their network, and closed their gates. What are we seeing in the field? Cleanup forces report a marked difference in enemy behaviors out in the field. Some are fleeing, some are going berserk. Most are just confused. Is it enough? One of our teams just went back to Rosemont, Georgia and completely routed the enemy. That marks the first time we've successfully driven the outsiders from an entrenched location. And it won't be the last. Yeah, but town by town, this war could take months. Maybe even years. But the end is in sight. I hope the scientists got something useful from my little trip to the outsider homeworld. I don't expect us to be going back anytime soon. You mean other than the ethereal creature you captured? Dr. Weir has been analyzing how Mosaic functions. A shame it was destroyed, it would have been a useful tool. No thanks, Falk. I like to do my own thinking. Regulated by the right individuals, Mosaic could have been a boon to humanity. Imagine all peoples of the world connected. I'm sure Stalin would have agreed with you. Any leader would. Mosaic is a tool. What matters is how you use it. Enough talk. Let's send these bastards packing. That's what I like to hear. 